Hello, this is Prugni. Today, we have an interesting algorithm problem. Let's think and go together. Today's problem is about harmonic series, which is the sum of sequence 1, 1 second, 1 third, 1 fourth, and so on. For large n term of series, harmonic series can be approximated as natural logarithm of n plus gamma constant. This problem asks us to show that the summation of the first n term equal big data log n. And there are some useful hints. To show an upper bound, decrease each denominator to the next power of 2. For a lower bound, increase each denominator to the next power of 2. What does the big data notation inform? By mathematic definition, big data gn is the set which contains the function fn, that there exists positive constants c1, c2, and no, such that fn is not lower than c1 gn and not greater than c2 gn for all n equals or greater than n no. In general, we can say that fn is created by gn, both lower and upper bound. So, fn has the same growth rate as gn. By the definition of big data, we have to show that harmonic theory has growth rate log n. Also, big data log n is a set, but we traditionally use echo symbol instead of member notation. There are three steps to succeed solving this problem. First of all, we have to show the upper bar by finding C2 and NO that the sum of the first n terms is not greater than C2 log n, for n equals or greater than NO. Second, show the lower bar by finding C1 and NO that the sum of the first n terms is not lower than C1 log n, for all n equals or greater than NO. Third, from first and second steps, we can finally conclude that the sum of the first n terms of harmonic series is big data log n. Step 1. Start by expanding the sum of the first n terms. With the hint, we decrease each denominator to the next power of 2. This will increase overall value. Then add some red terms and properly group it with parentheses. Notice that in each group has a value of 1. Sum it. Take out for our functions may increase overall value. We finally get this. From previous slide we got this. Because the sum of the first n terms of harmonic series is not greater than log n base 2 plus 1, so we will find c2 and n o from this in equality instead, and the same c2 and n o will fit our main in equality too. We start by changing 1 to log 2 base 2, sum log n base 2 and log 2 base 2 together. Multiply both sides by log 2. Then apply the power rule. There are many C2 and NO that fit this inequality. Today, we choose 10 for C2 and 2 for NO. Now, we have already shown that log N is an upper bar of the sum of the first N terms of harmonic series. This is the end of step 1. Step 2. Start by expanding the sum of the first n terms. With the hint, we increase each denominator to the next power of 2. This will decrease all our value. Then, we properly group it with parentheses. Notice that, in each group has a value of 1 half. The last term may not equal 1 half, depending on n. 1 half appears 
explore block invest two times. Delete the last term. Our value may be decreased. Take floor out, subtract by one. And we finally get this. From previous slide, we got this. Because the sum of the first n terms of harmonic series is not lower than half of block n base 2. So, we will find C1 and NO from this inequality. And the same C1 and NO will fit our main inequality too. We start by changing the base of block n. Apply power rule. Calculate value. Very easy to find C1 and NO. We choose 1 for C1 and the same NO from step 1. Now, we have already shown that log N is lower bound of the sum of the first N terms of harmonic series. From step 1, we show the upper bound. From step 2, we show the lower bound. Then, combine the upper bound and lower bound to tight bound with C1 equals 1, C2 equals 10, and NO equals 2. By the definition of big data, we can conclude that the sum of the first n terms of harmonic series is big data log n. Are you believe in our proof? Now, see it with your own eyes. This is the curve of the sum of the first n terms of harmonic series, start from point 11. An upper bound C2 log n, when C2 is 10. The lower bound C1 log n, when C1 is 1. You can see that the sum of the first n terms of harmonic series run in log n envelope. So, the sum of the first n terms of harmonic series is the data login. Thanks for watching and bye bye.